y'all. It seems like everyone around Diddy is finally waking up and smelling the coffee because his personal business is being aired out like never before. It's wild to see because his inner circle has always had his back, painting him as a victim and all that. But oh, how the tables have turned. His son Christian and his ex, Misa Hilton, are now teaming up to expose him, and it looks like the recent leak surrounding Kim Porter was the wake-up call they all needed. Christian has been throwing some major shade at Diddy on social media, and Misa just made a comment that has fans shook. It might even blow this whole case wide open. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but it's starting to look like Kim Porter might just be the key to finally bringing Diddy down. It turns out that people close to him might have known, or at least suspected, what went down between him and Kim. Even Kimora Lee Simmons seemed to have an idea of what was happening between them. We all know that Diddy used to put hands on Kim, even breaking her nose at one point. When she passed away, Kim's family immediately pointed fingers at Diddy and were ready to file a wrongful death lawsuit against him until the FBI stepped in. But Misa Hilton already had her issues with Diddy because, surprise, surprise, he used to put hands on her too when they were together. She even called him out on social media last year, accusing him of trying to use their son, Justin, to cover up some of his crimes, like his DUI. Now, you'd think she'd be the first to snitch on Diddy when the feds came knocking, right? But nope. Instead, she defended him when Homeland Security raided his house earlier this year. It seemed like she was mostly trying to protect her sons, Justin and Christian, but some people took it as her defending Diddy, given the accusations against him. And let's be real, the feds don't move unless they have some solid evidence, so it was shocking that she'd stand by him. But when that video of Diddy putting hands on Cassie leaked, Misa immediately switched up and threw him under the bus, calling him out for being a monster and saying how the video triggered her own trauma from being with him. Then, out of nowhere, she started talking about how Diddy was important to hip-hop culture and history, even dedicating an entire Instagram post to him with some throwback photos. This whole situation was definitely strange, almost like a complete 180, because it seemed like Misa was defending the same man she had openly admitted was awful to her. She was even dismissing his victims, which is wild. She must have known she was in the wrong because she asked fans not to focus on the negative stuff, like him hurting women. So yeah, she was pretty much hot and cold when it came to Diddy, but she got dragged through the mud for it, especially since she was telling us to just get over it because, after all, he's crucial to hip-hop culture and entertainment. However, it looks like the leaked content from Kim Porter's memoir really shook her, enough to make her switch up on Diddy again. For a while, there had been rumors about Kim's memoir, but all we had was a tiny snippet, less than half a page, talking about Diddy, Usher, and their alleged relationship, along with claims that Diddy allegedly gave Usher herpes. But the newly leaked pages are much worse than that. Honestly, it's not surprising that it triggered Misa to switch up on Diddy again, likely bringing back her own trauma from being in a similar situation. Those are hard words, but they're not mine. The leaked pages told a story about Diddy being jealous because another man sent flowers to Kim, even though they weren't together anymore. As if that wasn't bad enough, it explains why Misa is now spilling some wild stories about Diddy, including how he allegedly used to put hands on his own mother. I mean, putting hands on your girlfriends and baby mamas is terrible enough, but doing that to your own mother? That's just insane. And Misa's not making it up, because Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, was actually the first to speak out about this story a while ago. You know, like when the City College tragedy was going on and everything, and Diddy was on watch. You know, Kirk Burroughs was like, yo, man, I should have saw, he told me he should have saw this coming with Cassie and the way he treated women when he slapped his mother. 
And I was like, he did what? And Kirk Burrell said, yeah. I just thought because of what he was going through with the, you know, the tragedy, sh it was like, I, I, I was stuck on stupid for a minute, but he was like, yeah, I thought that he would grow out of it or it was just because all the shit he was going through when he slapped his own mother. I said, Kirk, let me tell you something. I said, Kirk, don't you remember when I told you when he cussed his mother out? And I think it was even that, Kirk. When he, when he was getting in the limousine, he cussed his mother out. He told his mother to stay out of his mo mofo business. And I, and I told him, man, you ever talk to your mother? You remember that situation? He said, yeah. I said, Kirk, why you didn't tell me then that he cussed his, that, that he slapped his mother? Because if you would have told me to slap his mother, I'd have beat the shit out of him, Kirk. Misa didn't hold back when she took it a step further, hinting at the real relationship between Diddy and his mom, Janice, suggesting that she might have been the one who led Diddy down the destructive path he's on today. So, y'all better buckle up, because Diddy's backstory is even juicier than we thought. Born in the heart of Harlem, New York City, Diddy's mom, Janice, was said to be a model and a teacher's assistant, or at least that's what she claimed. His dad, Melvin Combs, was living a double life, serving in the Air Force one minute and allegedly rubbing elbows with the notorious drug dealer, Frank Lucas the next. But here's where it gets real. Melvin was tragically shot down when Diddy was just two years old, reportedly because he got caught up in a shady deal gone wrong. Little Diddy grew up as a certified mama's boy, with Janice holding it down for him, but hold up, the tea gets even hotter. Word on the streets is that Diddy's mom might have taught him more than just his ABCs. While she claimed to be a model, no one's found a single runway receipt or any evidence to back that up. Instead, Misa hinted that Janice was organizing fashion shows that were anything but your typical catwalk events. Allegedly, these shows were just a front for connecting young girls with hustlers, and the drama doesn't stop there. Rumors even claim that Janice got paid to set up these sketchy events until things went too far when an underage girl was allegedly assaulted by one of the men involved. If any of this tea is true, it might explain a thing or two about why Diddy turned out the way he did. I guess this might shed some light on that weird and creepy video of Diddy and Janice. <laughs> Fans have long noticed the strange energy between Janice and Diddy. While Misa didn't come right out and say it, she strongly hinted that there's a lot going on between Diddy and his mother that we don't know about, suggesting she might be the real reason behind his behavior. And get this. Sources are now saying that Misa has been keeping their son, Justin, far away from Diddy because she doesn't want him around that bad influence. But this might be too little, too late. Justin's in his 30s now and has been around Diddy his whole life. He was even at some of those infamous Diddy parties as a kid, which he definitely shouldn't have been exposed to. <laughs> 
But hey, at least Misa is stepping up to protect her child now. Unfortunately, not all of Diddy's kids have the same support from their moms, which might explain why Diddy's other son, Christian, has also started spilling the tea on him. It seems like Christian has been feeling some type of way about Diddy for a while and has been dropping hints to warn us. For instance, after the feds raided their homes, Christian dropped a strange song where he rapped about how they missed some evidence. He said, knock them walls down like when them Fetty boys ran in both our cribs. Too bad they ain't know we be the one next door, cause that's the one they missed. How y'all talking like a ninja, time up, throwing shade, get your shines up, asking where my pop's at, he on the G6 getting the lineup. At the time, it seemed like he was just being reckless and cocky, but now it looks like he was low-key trying to snitch on Diddy, giving the feds a clue on where to look. According to several insiders, Christian was allegedly triggered by the leaked pages from his mom's memoir, and he now suspects that Diddy might know more about Kim Porter's book than he's letting on. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a high and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. According to reports, Christian has allegedly been trying to reconnect with his mom's side of the family and has discovered that they were planning to file a wrongful death lawsuit against Diddy. An insider added that Christian is now doing some digging of his own and it's not looking good for Diddy. Christian has always been something of a mama's boy and fans are starting to catch on. But I've got to know what y'all think about this. Do you believe that Christian and Misa are low-key trying to snitch on Diddy? Drop your thoughts in the comments and be sure to check out the next video.